Welcome to our lecture online. So how do we graph exponential functions? And especially if the base is less than 1 because it doesn't quite look like a normal exponential function when the base is greater than 1. So here we have a function y equals the log to the base 1 third of x. Well one way to do it is to convert it first to an exponential form and again remember on the previous video we learned how to do that by taking the antilog of both sides so first what we're going to do is take the antilog which means we're going to take the base one third and raise it to the exponent y and set it equal to the base one third and raise it to the exponent log base one third of x on the left side we have one third to the white power But on the right side, if you raise the base to the log of the same base of x, you simply get x again. And then if you turn the equation around, you can write x is equal to 1 third raised to the y power. So it doesn't really matter which way you write it, but there's the exponential form of the original logarithmic function. Now you want to set up a table. So you put in some x values and some y values. It does, again, it doesn't matter which way you go. x and y values. And it looks like it may be easier to put in different y values to see what x values you got. For example, when y is equal to 1, you get 1 third. If y is equal to 2, you get 1 ninth. And if y is equal to 3, you get 1 over 27. How about if you get negative exponents? Let's say, well, let's start with 0. What if y is 0, then x is equal to 1? If y is negative 1, then x will be equal to 3 because if this is negative 1 it turns the fraction around if you turn, turn it into a positive 1 power so 1 third to negative 1 is the same as 3 to the first power which is 3 and if y is negative 2 then you get 9 and if y is negative 3 then you get 27 so here you have a nice set of points x and y values for some coordinates of some points now we're able to graph it so let's plug put in a y and x-axis and let's plot some of these points so when x equals 1 y is 0 so when x equals 1 let's put over there y is 0 when x equals when x equals 3 y equals negative 1 so that's 1 2 3 y is negative 1 that's over here so this is negative 1 this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 and if x equals 9, then it's negative 2. So 9 would be somewhere over here. It would drop down to about here. So you can see that it looks like the curve is going to go like this. On the other side, when x is 1 third, y is 1. So when x is 1 third, which is about right here, y is equal to 1. So that's right about there. When x is equal to 1 ninth, which is even closer to the y-axis, then y is equal to 2, would be right about there. And when x is 127, which is almost right on the y-axis, then y is equal to 3. So you can see that it kind of goes like this. And then if you collect all those dots, it looks like asymptotically it goes to the y-axis. So connecting those dots like this, and like this, and then it goes like that. And there is the logarithmic function y equals the log to the base one-third of x. And that is how you graph it. You first convert it to exponential form using the antilog technique. Then you set up a table of values, and then you plot the points. And that is how it's done. Or you could, or you could just say that's the graph of x is a one third to the y power. Yes, that's right. So this is x equal one third to the right power, or y equals the log base one third of x. Either one. It's the same thing. That is correct.